Hey everybody, what's cracking? Welcome to episode 8 of the Let's Play series. I am Captain Jack, and in this episode, we are going to be building, hopefully, a molecular assembly chamber from Applied Energistics, which I will be referring to from here on out as a Mac. And uh, hopefully, we'll get into um, building some capacitor banks from Ender.io to store power from our big reactor. And uh, while that might seem like a pretty simple task, we'll see how we end up. All right, one important thing to note here is that things have drastically changed, okay? I have basically leveled, oh, if I get into this mode here, I basically leveled the entire base as you knew it, as I said um, that I would do in the latter part of the previous episode. And I've left basically just the basement, this here, and uh, I've torn everything else down. I took the crane down, everything. And uh, this is kind of just a little bit of a shell right now. And uh, if you, for some reason, actually I'm not going to say that it is there, but um, I actually live streamed the taking down of this entire thing, the digging of the foundation of the new base and me kind of just planning it out with dirt blocks. Um, in the live stream, I went off and looked for a pumpkin, which took literally a half an hour. And the reason why I needed a pumpkin is so I could use the brewing stands to make a couple magnum torches. So that was pretty cool as well. Got some factory blocks going here. These are really neat from Chisel. Um, I'll show you how to make a few of those. Um, and I also set up some deep storage units. If you're not sure how to set up deep storage units, when I move this facility, or when I start moving stuff into um, the new base over there, I'll show you how to go ahead and set up some deep storage units. So right now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make um, another elevator block. And the elevator block was a suggestion by a um, subscriber, which I intended on doing anyways, but uh, I'll give him credits or her credits. Um, let's go ahead and search for... Her. Oh, you know what? You know what else <laughs> people have been yelling at me about? Um, this NEI um, synchronized and if I go ahead and I don't know if I can do it now all right I figured out the problem really sorry about that um, hopefully if somebody has a solution to this um, they can post it in the comments below otherwise I'm just gonna go ahead and record the episode just like this I'm not gonna be able to be in full screen mode so the screen is gonna be cut just a little tiny bit on uh, all the outside edges, but I promise you're not going to lose any content. I lost this bottom bar if you notice that where I was just derping around. Um, this thing disappears when I go to full screen mode. So if anyone knows how to uh, make that come back, then that would be really great. Okay, so we're going to make a molecular assembly chamber. And we're going to need um, this containment wall. And I'm not really sure how much we're going to need. I only have 300 quarts. So I will make 64. And I do have a spot kind of laid out. Let's see, I have, oh, this doesn't work yet. Down here, it's really unfinished. I just poked holes everywhere. And uh, I want to put my Mac here and DSU storage as well. I want to put that there. So I'm going to start out, I don't think I'm going to mess around with a decent sized Mac. Hmm. This isn't going to be too big, and then this will be expandable. I'll build the base so I can expand um, vertically, either north or south, or up or down, if you will, or however you will. All right, so obviously made a little bit, um, not quite enough of those. For heat vents, I'll need 2, 4, 6, 6, 12, 18, 24. Okay. 24 heat vents. Yeah, oh, got to search down here. Got to search down here. Look at this. I'm learning. I'm learning all the things. Okay, actually. Let's. Oh, I don't have any more fluix dust. No! Alright, let's get this. Um, nether quartz dust. What? And redstone makes fluix? Look, I could have searched for it. I could have searched for it. Just in that in that very moment, I could have searched for it. I'm telling you, you're just going to have to be patient. Just going to have to be patient. 
All right, I need to what? Smush this? No, I I don't need to furnace it. That's a waste of everybody's time. Um, let's just pulverize it up on this thing first. That'll give me what I want. And then I will continue on making more of those heat vents. And where's my heat vent? I can only make four because I probably don't have any iron bars. Oops, they went away. Iron bars. Click this, make these. Not going to mess around with the iron bars. Have plenty of iron. That is not going to be a big deal. Um, it's the cable that I needed. So let's grab 18 cable. Oh, see, I can't search for it in there now when I do that. Oops. 18 cable. 48 cable. And then search for heat vent. I will get used to this. I promise I will get used to it. 52 heat vents. That was overkill. It's not like they're going to go to waste, though. And I get some more fluid dust burning. So we're going to put the heat vents down here. Okay, we'll save the other heat vents for the top. Now what we need is three, six, we need nine different blocks, and I'm going to probably put, um, I'll do six pattern providers, just because the CPUs are a little bit harder to make. So let's, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Quartz cutting knife. Uh-oh, where's my quartz cutting knife? It's not in my inventory. It's not in there. I'm going to go ahead and make a quartz cutting knife. And I will do it by searching for this. Isn't that fantastic of me? Let's go ahead and make a couple quartz cutting knives. Then we'll go ahead and make a processor. Um, one of these, one of these. Seven, eight, nine. Um, while we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and make <laughs> 54 processors. Whoops. Just use a lot of quartz. That's okay. A um, bunch of processors, and then we're going to go ahead and do the matrix matrix I don't know how many I have conversion matrix because yeah I don't have a lot so let me see how many of these puppies I can make one good grief oh it's because I need more fluix dust nope there's Ferris where did that oh it's up here and as you can see, I've already gone down the ladder twice now. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this, because I'm not. Um, that's a lie. I'm always enjoying. I'm always, always, oh my goodness. You know what? You know what? Stuff the ladder. I'm, I'm deleting it. So now I cannot make that mistake again. Where do those, did I, I put them in the wrong thing and they got squished and put, put back into the system. So fluix dust, conversion matrixes, make 24 of those babies. Go ahead and search for the pattern provider. Uh, for those of you wondering, what in the bloody... Um, for those of you wondering... How many of these? When I actually do the live stream, um, the answer is... I don't know. That's the simple answer. Um, 
I try to live stream, or I've been trying to live stream, um, basically any time that I'm playing. We'll need those for Ender IO in a little bit. So if I'm between episodes and there is not um, an episode that is already out, like if there's two episodes in a row already out, I won't record. But if there's only one episode and I haven't recorded the next one, I'll just go ahead and record between episodes and you can watch me kind of dink around very casually and poke holes in the floors and build stuff. Um, I will announce on Facebook if uh, I am going live. I did it on Tuesday, which would be yesterday, which doesn't mean anything to people watching the video anytime after the fact, but that's okay. So that's that. Um, you can I'll put the link in the description. It'll be like uh, the Minecrafters on Twitch, Twitch TV, and uh, I'll live stream as much as I possibly can. I'm glad I put that heat vent there. Now I'm not trying to uh, run up that dumb thing. All right, what do we need? We needed these. Oops, no, we need these. And now that I have enough. Should be able to make. No, nope, missing one more thing. Crafting tables. Not the hardest thing in the world to make. Now I could have searched for a crafting table too, but clearly, that would have been a waste of time. That would have been a waste of time. Uh, oh, I was gonna say like really. Seven. That's too many already. So that's fine. That's a lot of conversion matrices. And then I'm going to do a CPU. This is much easier. And I can make those safely enough. I'll have to get that elevator block working to uh, eliminate the need. Ah, what the heck? I'll put another CPU. More CPUs and merrier. And I don't have enough because I made this thing too big. What I'll do is I'll just make more CPUs since they're way easier. And I don't think I'll need more more advanced processors, which is okay. Let me see two more of those. Let's get one of these going here. I'm missing silicon. Silicon. <laughs> I'm just going to smash all of this. If I try to go down that ladder one more time. Push that into there. If I try to go up the ladder one more time. I'm going to scream. I just been it's just been second nature for so long now. Me going up that stupid ladder every time I need something. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and Blast a whole bunch more iron away to make more quartz. I should have just put the elevator block right where the um, the staircase is. That sure would have saved me some aggravation. Squish this, squish this. You know what? Let's not be all talk and no, uh, no walk here. Plug that hole. I'm so over this. <laughs> there we go. We'll see. We'll see if that uh, eliminates all the fails. All right. We need basic processors. So we'll get about nine of these. Oh, I did it! I did it. This is <laughs> son of a. I can't freaking win. Let's squish those up. All right, now I'm getting in. I'm getting in the groove now. Getting in the groove. Eleven. That should be plenty. So this thing will be pretty. Oh, oh, oh. The episode of all of the elevator block madness. Elevator block madness. We'll name the episode. No, just kidding. I won't do that. All right. Now that we're done failing at the elevator blocks 
we have built our Mac. And this is going to be a little bit taller. And uh, I'll have to put some cable running up here, up through um, a hole there, because that's where I'm going to have my like my main little area where I kind of chill out. I want to have a dimensional door um, kind of room hub thing where I can just go from place to place to place without having to worry um, about going all over the place with elevator blocks and through my sprawling metropolis of a base here. All right, now what we need is a pattern encoder. Pattern encoder, which is right here, which we'll be able to make. And then uh, we will need to put that in this room over here. And just for now, I'm going to drop it here. OK, and I am going to move my system. And before I go ahead and move my system, to alleviate any madness in the mining world, I'm just going to quickly stop my quarry, wherever it may be. You can see my quarry holes here, if they load properly. And for all of you people who have relentlessly bugged me about the chunk loading situation, it's because there have been way too many times in my playing experience that I've accidentally placed a chunk loader outside the chunk boundary of the quarry. And when I've left, the quarry has just not run. And I didn't realize it wasn't running, and so I left it. So if I go ahead and press F9 here, you see that if I put the Tesseract, like, um, no, it still would have loaded because it's within here. If it was on a corner chunk, it would it would have caused a disaster, okay? So just leave me alone about the chunk loader. I like my chunk loaders, and they like me. All right, so I just removed that real quick so that... Um, once my system is turned off, that quarry is not going to back up and cobblestone and crap is not going to go flying everywhere and cause a whole mess that we just don't want to have anything to do with. We're going to come over here and now we are going to move all the things. Oh, let's get a Tesseract. I think I have one more. Yes, I do. Just for now, this is only temporary. I'm going to take and I'm going to place this Tesseract. Look at all these heat vents coming in useful for me here. Um, we'll just place it there. It's already hooked up. Main power. And then I'm going to go ahead and shut this baby down. Shut her down. Well, it still has some power. I'm going to empty my inventory. Because it'll be cooperative just like that. Ah, there we go. Shut down. All right, so I'll move this, this, this. And just for now, I'm going to put that there. Put my crafting thing there, my IO port. I didn't show the IO port, but uh, if you want to know how, how to use it, maybe you can drop it in the comments. It's a pretty easy block. Let's unload my entire net worth here in the form of drives. I love applied energistics. Absolutely love it. I'll drop these here. I made a bunch of 4Ks, and I actually made a couple 16Ks, and that's why I wanted the... Um, I.O. port so I could load the majority of the high quantity items onto uh, some 16Ks. Okay, so basically I just moved my entire inventory in the world over to there. Um, and all this stuff is irrelevant and my ore processing just shut down, which is a huge problem. But my quarry is not running, so it's not that big of a problem now, is it? Now, is it? I'll have to pick a spot to um, to move my ore processing, or I'll just pipe a really long cable over there, which will be which will be pretty ghetto. But who's really who's really caring? Not me right now. Um, DSU's. I'm assuming that if I go ahead and break these, they will uh, hold the contents. 
There we go. And these are just temporary measures. I'm probably going to fine tune this business afterwards. All right, so hmm, how do I want to do this? Oh, I'd have to pipe less cable if I just basically attach the DSUs onto the Mac. Or I could go around the sides and pipe cable up the back and put um, monitors or something. Let's see. Let's see. For now, let's just place our DSUs here. Okay. Now these have been pre-configured and I'm going to have to change these to their appropriate blocks. And one of these, which is gravel, that's perfect. That's the one that was a little bit messed up. So I'm going to change the pre-configuration to these. I'm going to need some dirt. You can see I have a lot of these resources inside of the DSU. And can't pre-configure this one. Okay, so this one is cobblestone, so I'm just going to make sure only cobblestone can go in there and that it can move in and out. This one is um, basalt. This one is obsidian. And this one is dirt, and that's already pre-configured properly. So that's fantastic. And then um, just to hook it up into the network, just going to do that. That'll be all set. Let's go ahead and make an elevator block before somebody loses their mind. Okay, and let's also make some more, or get some more ME cable. I just feel like I'm still not using this properly and somebody's going to have to correct me. Which is fine, which is fine. Here we go. Oh, I don't need that. Wait a minute. Did I auto smelt that stuff? <laughs> I tried to climb the ladder. And I just used the thing instead. Let's get some more quartz. And this just needs to be squished into fluix dust. So... That's all I need. Quartz. Let's get this and then redstone and then as soon as this is done I'll be able to make some cable and hook that into the system shouldn't need too much oh I'm gonna have to bypass that tesseract hold on hold on ain't nobody got time for the slow thing here let's turn up the volume I just lost a bunch of power when I did that, which isn't which isn't so much fun as you might think. But that's okay. We have all the power. And there we go. Just lost a whole bunch more power. And there we go. Losing all the power. For the horde, of course. So let's take this. Let's make some ME cable. Which um I'm actually not going to be using ME cable. And now that I say that, let me just see how much easier this is to make. I'm going to be using ME conduit. Oh, it is so much easier to make. That is okay. That's okay. We're going to be using Ender IO junk. Let's delete this. Delete that. Let's run this cable, run this bad boy down to here. There we go. Now the Mac is wired into the system. Oops. Oops. Oh, I'm committed. I'm committed. I have to finish. Come on. There we go. Okay, so now you can see I have uh, everything that's part of the Mac there. I'm using 10, 10 MJ per tick, which is really not so bad at all. And now I'm going to find the pattern for blank pattern, which is down here. 
and that is right here. Then we're going to go ahead and do that. Then we're going to put this inside of here. And then we are going to, because this is always the first recipe that you make, is a blank pattern recipe. And I was missing glass, I think. Nope. Why, what, what material was I missing to make this? Oh, that's Tinker's glass. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. Nothing a little medium stone can't solve. We'll put that there. Cola. Put some coal, because we got plenty of it. And then... Are you kidding me right now? That's all the sand that I have? I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. Good grief. Good grief. All right. All right. And my gravel is um uh, is lost down there. Well. Oh. oh. Didn't make the elevator block yet. I'm I'm ahead of this in my mind and not so much uh not so much in the game here. Let's install that little trip there. Um let's put the pattern for that inside of there. And I need another storage bus, which I'm pretty sure I don't have. But that's okay. Obviously. If I had put two and two together, that wouldn't have been so hard to figure out. Now, would it have been? Tricksy hobbits. Okay, let's put the storage bus on there. Let's configure it to gravel. Connect that into the system. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a um, an export bus here. So it will... Um, export all the patterns, match any. So whenever I make a new pattern, it'll just dump it straight into my my Macintosh layer. All right, I'm I'm so totally over this whole thing with the sand because I can't believe I don't have any sand left, because I use it all for my my stinking windows, and didn't realize that I was running so short. But that's okay. I'm sure there's a recipe for sand out there and somebody else is pulling their hair out, which is not, not a big deal. All right, I need to set up my import bus, which is why those are extra for my quarry. So get the import bus. Let's go ahead and grab the chest. Boom. Okay. That will allow me to continue to take in stuff from the quarry. So that's awesome there. I got my Mac. Um, let's go ahead and make some. I'm not even going to use the Mac right now because I'm because I'm short on glass. I'm going to make some capacitors. And I'll program these in. Anyways, capacitor banks. So basically we need to get up to these double layer capacitors. Which is the hardest part about these to make. And we need two basics. And some coal dust and a whole bunch of electrical steel. So let's get um, silicon, coal, and iron. Silicon ender IO. Already have pulverized coal, so that's good. Iron, let's get some of that going. In our ghetto system here. E can't make it down there. We'll do alloys. All right, that'll make electrical steel. Mind furnace mode? No, not. Um, let's pulverize some of this. I'm just going to throw it in here because that's... Oh, that's already pulverized. I need regular coal. Now I'm wandering over to this thing. And I'll need a lot of this, so that's just why I'm... I'm making it in advance. Pulverize coal. Seven. 
I will speed up this process even further because this is not going anywhere. And if this is not in use, I'm going to triple production here. So let's grab this one that this is made and come back up here. And then we need these. So let's make good gravy. Good gravy. Whole bunch of that. Make 50 of them. And then we'll make double layers, which needs this. And let's get some electrical steel in the system. I think I already have some from when I was doing work before. These are... Okay, can we not? I'm in the wrong mode. Making all the, uh, making all the tinkers. Gear. Alright, we got 24 of those. Let's drop this in here. Let's make a um, bunch of redstone blocks because we can. And then let's make six capacitor banks. And uh, what the capacitor banks are, are multi-block power storage structures. And the more blocks that you have on them, the more power that they can um, accept and put out. And uh, in the interest of the time of the episode, I'm going to go ahead and eat some more fish. And we actually accomplished the goal that I set out to accomplish. Um, you see we're at 1,000 here. And we're at storage of... Of 5 million RF. If I put another one there, it's going to add um, 2,000 input and output, and it's going to add another 5 million, bringing us up to 10. And uh, these can kind of be placed in whatever pattern that you want. So I'm going to have a wacky, wacky little pattern here, and I'm, then I'm going to go ahead and grab some more conduit, uh, thermal expansion conduit, which we will be getting away from as soon as possible. And I believe this shouldn't have any trouble accepting this as a valid power transport type. Where is my reactor? Oh, I did this too, so I didn't have to worry about it. I'm just pumping in and uh, pumping out. I'll make a cyanide reprocessor eventually. Let's dump this in here. And um, this is slowly filling up. And this is just going to be kind of an auxiliary power thing. And the reason why I'm not afraid to just put this block here is because I can actually pick these up and move them around and uh, they'll retain all their charge um, so I won't lose anything and each one of them will have the, the 5 million RF uh, storage inside of there so that's pretty cool. So in case of uh, total disaster I'll be able to pick those up and re-power my ME system which is always a concern of everybody. And let me just tell you guys my plans before I go ahead and end this episode. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but these five slots here are going to be where I want to set up um, the MFR lasers so that I can uh, reduce my dependence upon quarries, but that's going to require some huge reactor turbines, um, which I also intend to make. And those are going to, I think, sit kind of high up on here. This is not going to be totally symmetrical. I'm going to put, um, I think, like a tower of something over in this area where my house is now. Hopefully, I'll be able to knock down a bunch of this. Um, or processing. I'm not sure if that's going to be down below. I think I think right below here, um, all in this area, we'll just do ore processing, or maybe back in in here. And there'll be tunnels to other places. Like I said, this is I haven't really done much work down here. Um, I'll put in some floors. I might make a little exit to the to the water over there. And uh, we should. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way to uh, get some whatchamacallit, some jelly cryothium because I need more um, enderium to make a big big turbine. Which I don't need it, but it would be good because that reactor down there is capable of powering a 9x14 um, reactor seen in my reactor video that I put out. It's a little bit smaller. actually puts out the same amount of power, 26,000 RF per tick. 
which will be pretty neat. Um, the next episode will be probably recorded shortly after this one has been recorded. Um, so you guys really won't be able to put in too much input um, if you are watching this on the day of its release. Friday's episode has probably already been recorded. Um, I will not be live streaming for the rest of this week, um, but I will be back live streaming next week. And I hope you all uh, stay poised and uh, get ready for some more action. I'm sorry this was a little bit tedious. Moving stuff from place to place always is. And uh, with me learning your guys' little NEI trick that I just never, never got used to. It was a little bit hectic, but I hope you still like the video anyways. Um, check us out on uh, Facebook, uh, all the places. If you want to play Ice Henge for yourself, you need a lot of RAM allocated to the pack. Otherwise, it will crash at the loading screen. Thank you very much. Um, this is Captain Jack. Signing out. Stay poised.